everybody and welcome back. Um, as you can see, I don't have any makeup on at all. My skin's suffering a little bit at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is something different uh, this week. I'm not gonna be doing any makeup looks. So for today, I'm gonna be showing you how I've been tidying up my brows at home during lockdown. Um, so how I've been tinting them and just tidying them up. Um, so yes, if you want to see what I'm doing with my brows at home, then please just stay tuned. So firstly, I'm going to show you what you will need to do this at home. So the tint that I use when I'm at home is this one from Amazon. It's the Eyelure uh, Dark Brown one. And it comes with uh, the tint, the activator, and then there's a little uh, pot in the middle where you can put um, both of them and mix them up together. You also get a little spoolie in this. The tint's not bad. I used to use this all the time before I worked in the salon. Um, I definitely prefer the one in the salon, I prefer how it looks on my brows and it lasts a lot longer but for now this will do um, and I've got so much time on my hands so I've just been doing this maybe like once every couple of weeks. So what else you'll need is cotton buds, so I got this little set, um, I got a few of them actually in the range a while back, um, so it's got the cotton buds and it had cotton pads and cotton wool. Um, and that was only 99p, so that's actually a really handy kit to have. I got quite a um, quite a few of them to put um, in with my makeup kit because it's just easy to take around. Um, so yeah, you'll need cotton buds, you'll need cotton pads, also a pair of tweezers. Um, and finally, this part is optional. So I have these disposable razors. I get them from Amazon. They're really cheap. Um, but I just use these underneath my brow to kind of tidy up any like fuzzy hairs, like really fine hairs that you can't get with the tweezers. But this step is definitely optional. Please don't feel like you have to buy these razors and use these because um, you'll still get quite a good effect uh, to tidy them up just with your tweezers. So I'll show you how I use these, but please don't feel um, like you have to. Also some micellar water if you have that line about anything that's oil free um, for wiping away the tint at the end. So yeah, you don't need much for this at all. Um, I'm just doing a standard wax and tint, nothing um, too drastic. I just want to add a bit of colour back into my brows and tidy up the stray hairs. So I'm just gonna get started. So guys, I'm just gonna keep you um, nice and zoomed in so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. So firstly, I'm gonna take my cotton pads and my micellar water. And what I'm gonna do is just wipe over my brows to get rid of any product like I put some moisturizer on earlier so it's just going to get rid of any excess oil um, that's sitting on the skin and what I'm going to do is also with a spoolie just kind of brush through my brows and this is going to help to kind of separate the hairs see exactly where they're sitting and also if you've got any dead skin sitting in your eyebrows this is going to help just to get rid of that as well so the tint doesn't stick so next I'm going to take my tint so you can use any tint for this it doesn't have to be this exact one but please please make sure that you have patch tested yourself first because we don't want any reactions so i'm literally just gonna take a little bit of this in the pot and i'm gonna take the activator pop that just over the tint oh just enough to cover that and then i'm gonna take one of my cotton buds and just mix them until it's totally smooth and there's no kind of lump. So I've just mixed that all in and this is what my tint is looking like. So you can go ahead and pop that on with a cotton bud if you want to, or if you do have like an eyebrow brush or something um, that's a bit more precise, you could use that. Um, I forgot to mention that at the start. So I'm gonna go in with this brush here. So this is my brush that I use for all my eyebrow products, the MAC Angled Eyebrow Brush. Because we're not trying to create any like different shapes or anything with this product, we're just going to keep it exactly to our brow shape. If you do get some on your skin, just wipe it away if you notice it. But at the end, I will explain, if you do have any on the skin, I'll explain how you can get that off. I'm just going to go straight in and start applying this evenly over my brow.
next I'm just going to take a cotton bud and kind of tidy up any areas that I want to change. So I've done that as neat as possible, um, but I'm just going to try and kind of sharpen up the edges with this cotton bud. I'm just going to do the same on the other brow. So you can see already this one's developing darker, that's the one I did first. I've still got a little bit um, of tint left in here because what I like to do is wait a couple of minutes then take it off, um, see how it's getting on um, and then if I want to reapply more then I will. So I'm just going to wait um, a couple of minutes and then I'm going to show you how I would take off and check. So that has been a couple of minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check how my brows are looking so underneath. I'm just going to take a cotton bud and wipe a wee bit away. So yeah, I think these are possibly, um, well this one definitely is probably as dark as I would like it. So I'm just going to take a cotton bud, a cotton pad, sorry, and some micellar water and I'm just going to wipe that away. I'm just going to use my spoolie to kind of brush through and check the brow. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit just onto the tail of the brow just to make that slightly darker. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take this one off because that should be kind of even amounts of time that they've been on. and wipe away on the other brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the tail of this brow off. And I'm quite happy with how that looks now. I'm just gonna wipe away and brush through. And again guys, I'm just gonna wipe away this brow here. I don't usually trim my brows or anything, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it just a little bit to just like do a demonstration. Just use um, the MAC lash scissors. You can get like eyebrow scissors. They're basically just like uh, wee nail scissors, but I'm just gonna use these for now. So all I'm gonna do is just, just brush my brow hairs up. I don't really have very long brow hairs, but I will try and trim a little bit just to show you because you can see when I brush my brows up they don't really stand up much here so if your brows were coming like right up here that is when you would want to trim them um, or you might not some people don't always hold like you would always cut this way so you'll never cut um, like the way your brows go always cut against so just like brush them up and again being so so careful here because the tiniest bit can make a massive difference but this is basically what I was trying to explain so just keep brushing them up and then like just bring your scissors across and that way you'll be able to just tidy them up a wee bit so yeah my brow hairs aren't that long but I'll try and do it on this one. I don't know if you can see my kind of strays. There's not too many to be honest. I did my brows a couple of weeks ago and mine don't really grow in 
that quickly. I'm just going to take my tweezers and tweeze out um, the strays that I can see. So I'm going to pull in the skin quite, so it's just quite taut. <laughs> Trying to get that tiny wee one and it's not coming. So I'm not touching the main part of my brow, I'm literally just taking anything from underneath and I'm also gonna just tweeze a few from the middle. I'm gonna go in with one of my little um, disposable razors but please, if you're gonna do this, be really, really, really careful. Um, I'll show you what to do but also, if you want to miss this step, then please feel free. So I just like to, again, make my skin quite taut. And I like to close the eye that I'm doing because I don't like to like razor blade my eyelashes. I don't think that would be great. So and I'm just gonna take tiny, tiny little movements. And I just, I don't use as much of my eyebrows to be honest. Um, but this, yeah, as you can see, it'd be easy to just kind of go like that. So you have to be really, really careful with this. You have to be so careful because one slip and you could have that slit eyebrow look, which you might want. I certainly don't. So it's not massively important, but I'm just, I like to really defluff my face because I'm one of those people that get so much of that like peach fuzz. Um, I do get derma planning done, so I just use these a wee bit on my brows. I would never like do a proper derma plan with these because they're not good quality at all. Um, but for your brows, it's fine. Like some people look at these and think they look really really harsh but see after I like shower tonight um, and then again tomorrow they will have died down quite a lot and if I've got makeup on as well they won't look as harsh but I'm definitely just trying to keep my skin makeup free this week to give it a bit of a break. So what I was gonna say is if you did get any tint like on the skin or out with where you wanted to put the tint on your brows Take an oil-based product, um, so anything in your skincare or even like a bit of olive oil or something, get it on a cotton bud and just kind of rub over that area. Um, also what I find works, this doesn't have oil in it, so I don't know how that works, but I find that my toner that I use, this is just the one from Aldi, I find if I get a bit of this on a cotton bud and kind of like rub over the area, it will really really lighten up the tint um, so don't worry if you do make any mistakes because they're easily rectified um, but try and be as careful as you can when you're putting the tint on your brows and just keep it nice and neat so yeah this is the finished um, eyebrow look nothing too drastic just a bit of colour and a tidy up um, I hope those steps were easy enough to follow please please remember if you're doing this at home to patch test yourself I can't stress how important that is because if you do follow this video please show me the finished results let me know how you get on a few people have already messaged me to say that they're um they've been playing about with their eyebrows in isolation so if you follow these steps um let me know how you get on for sunday's video this week again i'm not gonna be putting makeup on but i think i will do um a deep clean of my kit some point this week i'm gonna go and order some stuff today or yeah, I'll have to order stuff because I can't go to the shop, can I? Um, just to properly deep clean my kit, I like to do that. Um, even though I'm not in the salon at the moment. Well, I've kind of left it a while, obviously, because I'm not in the salon. So I want to do that this week and get everything nice and clean and organised. And I know myself, I like to watch cleaning videos. So I thought that might be something that people would like to see. Um, and it'll give you maybe a wee bit of inspiration to clean out your makeup collection and get it all nice and cleaned and tidied. So yeah, I'll probably do that at some point this week and I will get that uploaded on Sunday. Hope you are having a great week. 
and enjoying more sunshine. It was meant to rain this week I think but it seems to be nice so far so I hope everybody's well and getting through isolation. Apart from that guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope um, you got some tips on how to keep your brows tamed during lockdown. Um, if you did enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot to me. Um, but apart from that I will see you in my next video. Bye!